This is a Traxxas Slash 4x4 VXL, which is probably one of the most popular RC cars ever. Now, why is it so popular? A big part of it is definitely its durability. This thing is an absolute tank. And as you can see from this body here, this thing has seen just a couple crashes. That was sarcasm if you couldn't tell. This thing has been crashed hundreds of times, but it just keeps going. Now this specific truck has quite a few upgrades as you can probably tell, but even stock, this thing is an absolute beast. So this is a very durable little truck. That being said, it does have a bit of a weak point in the drive shaft. I actually have a broken one right now. Um, it just snaps right there. That's where they always snap for me. I've had that happen so many times and I can see it's wearing out on this side as well. So I actually just ordered two more of them like five minutes ago. I think the stock servo is also a bit of a weak point, although that was upgraded by the previous owner to this, I think it's a metal gear tracks a servo, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the stock one isn't that great. But once it's upgraded to something like this better Traxxas servo, then it works perfectly fine. One other thing I have broken several times are these nerf bars here in the side. That's probably more just my driving than anything else. I've slid into so many trees and just hit these going full speed so many times. So that's probably just the reason for that. Although you can duct tip them up pretty good. These, both of them actually broke in the same spot. And so I just threw a bit of duct tape on it and they seem to be holding fine for now. Now it's not just super durable, it's also a ton of fun to drive overall. It's super crazy fast with the brushless VXL system in it. They do make a version of this truck with brushed electronics, which is obviously not going to be nearly as fast, but it's still plenty of power to have a ton of fun with it, even when it's brushed. In my opinion, the brushless version is definitely more fun than the brushed, just because it goes crazy fast. I'm pretty sure the fastest I've ever taken it was around 47 miles an hour. I think that's the fastest I've ever gone with this truck and of course it is a short course truck so it's not going to be the best for big jumps you can still jump it pretty well it's not like terrible or anything like that it's still a bunch of fun to jump i do it quite a lot but it's not going to jump nearly as good as like a monster truck would I have also taken this to a track a couple of times and it handles around the track actually really nicely. I really like how it drives, it's just overall a ton of fun. And that's another really awesome thing about this truck. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. You can take it to a track, you can do on-road speed runs, you can just go bashing in the dirt, you can jump it, you can kind of use it however you want and it's going to do it. Now of course it's not indestructible, you're gonna break it, especially if you drive these things like I do. But to me, a really big fun part of the hobby is fixing your cars and tearing them apart and trying to figure out how to put them back together and probably breaking something else in the process. To me, it's honestly just as fun as driving. Well finally, is the Traxxas Slash 4x4 any good and should you buy one? I absolutely think so. It is a great car no matter what skill level you are. If you're just getting into the hobby looking for your first car, this is a great choice, or if you've been in the hobby for a long time, this is also going to be an awesome addition to your collection. If you want to see a video comparing the 10th skill slash to the 16th skill slash, you can click right here for that. And if you want to see some more awesome videos about this slash right here, you can click right here for that, and I'll see you over there.